Okay, today is day 13 on hashtag Happily Organized 2015 challenge. Um, it was created by Happily A Housewife here on YouTube. And so I'm going to show you um, how I organized the kids' um, bathroom sink. So here we go. So on this side, um, I have all my cleaning um, products for the bathrooms in this cleaning caddy. And um, this was bought at Walmart a while ago. And I really like it because I can cart it with me to the other bathroom and I have everything in it. Because in the other bathroom, I store like um, our bath, my husband and I's bathroom essentials. I don't keep any cleaning items over there. So in here, I just have, you know, the basics. I have like um, some cleaning cloths and I have some swipper, sweeper items, you know, the dry and the wet ones. These are from the Dollar Tree the Buddies brand and then I have a clean brush right here I just place that in there really nicely and then this is a Windex touch up I really like that to touch up the um, faucets and mirrors and things and then this is a good and clean disinfectant that I use for the bathroom and then some toilet cleaner and then shower cleaner right there and in the back I have like um, a backup of my Tide Oxy. It's a multi-purpose thing. And then right here is, this was just like on a whim. This is actually a Cottonelle um, white container. We have so many of these things. And um, I didn't know whether or not I wanted to keep it or whatever. So I just like, I'm going to store the dirty cleaning brushes in there. And it actually works. So it's just a, a white container. And I just stuck it in there. So and then I have paper towels. And so on this side, I guess I should just keep it open so you guys can see. Okay. So on this side, I have a backup of our, or the kids' hand soap. And then I have an extra dispenser, hand soap dispenser. And then right here is where I keep all the cat items. Um, it's got his nail um trimmers or nail scissors. I've actually never used these because I'm too scared to use it on him. I'm a first time cat owner and so I've been taking him to the vet. <laughs> but I have him anyways. And then I have um, this are some what is this? Oh it's just flea treatment. I've got this for my mother-in-law but I haven't really used that on him. And then I have some grooming shampoo. I have an extra clean scooper. I have some disposable gloves that I wear when I um, clean his litter out. And then I have um, some pads for his litter. And then I have some Epsom salt. So that is what is on this side. Now before I had like, you guys saw in my picture, I put, I had humidifiers in here and then all the cat stuff were in another spot, but I just thought that this was a lot better and more organized for myself. Humidifiers. So, so on this side, um, are my humidifiers. I have two ginormous ones so it fits really well right here. I actually really like this system better because I moved the towels um, in another spot and it's just it works a lot better. Okay so this is the top um, of the ba kids bathroom sink and I just wanted to quickly show you guys how I organize all their kid stuff. It, it's nothing super organized it's just it works but you know you still have to clean it up and manage it because you know they're children so right here I have a um, this I bought at Walmart they're kind of like the Scentsy things they work really well just the same um, I really like it because it's really strong enough to overpower the kitty litter that's in here so I really like that and then you guys saw this soap dispenser at my Dollar Tree haul and then this is their cups for mouth rinse and then right here is where I keep a lot of their, you know, grab essential items. So in this little container, this is from Ikea. I think it was around $5 and it was in the kitchen department. So I put like their deodorant and hair products on this side. There's some more deodorant. And then here's their mouth mouthwash. That's from the Dollar Tree. And then these are two little... Um, four ounce candle holders from Bath and Body Works. I reuse these all the time. So 
definitely keep those and clean them out. Um, so I put like their little timers in here and toothbrush and then their toothpaste in there. And then right here, it's just a little container that keeps their jewelry in. I mean, it's not really um, <laughs> clean. And then like if I find extra trinkets or beads, I just place them in there until they can have time to put them where they really go. So there's an extra brush. <clears throat> and then there's another bin. <laughs> It needs to be sorted, but that's where they put all their jewelry items and things like that. And then here is another one of those um, IKEA containers, and um, I put all their head their headbands in here. Um, headbands are so easy for in the morning; they just put one on and they're good to go for school. But let me just tell you that this thing does never it never stays this pretty. Like it just doesn't. Like when they're grabbing them, they're always like all over the place. So. I might have to figure out another functional way to store their head pieces be or head hair bows because let me show you their drawer. It is a mess. <laughs> like even if I made a system or anything, I don't I'm not sure the girls would, you know, stick with it because we get up and we're in a rush. So this container right here is also from IKEA. Um I was actually using it for my makeup drawers, but I got new containers for my makeup drawers and I decided that I would stick it in here and see if it would stay organized, but it doesn't. Um, I know there's a lot of Pinterest, like the ribbon bow thing. I do need to make one. Um, that might work, but I'm not sure if I want all that on my walls because I like to keep it as simple as possible. So I don't know if you guys have any suggestions on how to store kid hair bows. <laughs> Leave them in the uh, comments below. I'd appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, so this is what this looks like. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the have enjoyed these organizing videos. Um, I certainly have, and I think it helps. And so as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.